My name is Mary Roach, and I'm the author of Gulp, Adventures on the Alimentary Canal. This is reflections uh, after I uh, had had a colonoscopy without sedation so that I could observe as they went along. There is an unnameable feeling I've had maybe 10 times in my life. It is a mix of wonder, privilege, humility, and awe that borders on fear. I have felt it in a field of snow on the outskirts of Fairbanks, Alaska, with the northern lights whipping overhead so seemingly close, I drop to my knees. I am walloped by it on dark nights in the mountains, looking up at the sparkling smear of our galaxy. Laying eyes on my own ileocecal valve, peering into my appendix from within, bearing witness to the magnificent complexity of the human body, I felt, let's be honest, mild to moderate cramping. But you understand what I'm getting at here. Most of us pass our lives never once laying eyes on our own organs, the most precious and amazing things we own. Until something goes wrong, we barely give them thought. This seems strange to me. How is it that we find Christina Aguilara more interesting than the inside of our own bodies? It is, of course, possible that I seem strange. You may be thinking, wow, that Mary Roach has her head up her ass, to which I say, only briefly and with the utmost respect. I would like the reader to take away from Gulp a, a couple of things. Awe and respect. I think that when it comes to bodily functions, particularly the, the digestive and excretory systems, people tend to turn away, they tend to feel repulsed and they feel disgust. And I would love to replace a little of the repulsion and disgust with curiosity, awe, even respect. Some of the yuckier researchers and, and research that I came across in the book, I would have to nominate straight off the bat. Um, I found a saliva researcher, a person who has studied uh, human saliva for most of her career. Uh, she was not a yucky person. She was, in fact, a, a beautiful, very fashionable Italian woman. But uh, the, 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 the nature of her research was uh, a little disgusting. I guess my favorite story from Gulp is the, uh, has to do with the, the chapter about the human rectum. And I was trying to figure out some place to go. There's no real institute of rectal research. There wasn't really an obvious place to go. And I thought, well, what is the rectum? Well, it's a storage facility. It's a holding area. And I thought, who uses the rectum for the purpose for which it evolved? And I ended up talking to the California Department of Corrections. Uh, because they have uh, an issue with people using the rectum to smuggle materials. And in fact, uh, the, the public relations man was very accommodating. He said, yes, you can come here. We've got people you can talk to who do this. And uh, would, it, would an hour be OK? Would that be enough time for you? And I thought about this. I said, yeah, I think to talk to a stranger about his rectum, I think that, I think that will do. Uh, writing Gulp affected the way I eat. To a certain extent, uh, I, I would say specifically, um, I tend to use my internal nostrils. Most people are not aware that they have two sets of nostrils. There is a set in the back of the mouth. Uh, and, and you appreciate food by, when you exhale, you're wafting these volatile aromas up into the nasal cavity or the sinus cavity, and you're, you're uh, getting all this uh, additional information and, and data for you that you experience as uh, smell and it's uh, so when I have food in my mouth or wine or gin or whatever it is I tend to exhale and I never used to do this so that was a direct it's called retronasal olfaction when you smell on the exhale rather than on the inhale so I do a fair amount of that but you have to be careful because if you get too uh, enthusiastic then you move into uh, nasal regurgitation <laughs> you hork it out your nose <laughs> I was am so thrilled to be nominated for this award. The Royal Society, uh, you know, centuries of encouraging and rewarding curiosity about the natural world and rational exploration of the world and knowledge for knowledge's sake. Uh, so that I'm, I'm all about that in a slightly more goobery way. But I'm uh, so that they, they're my people. And I was, I'm absolutely thrilled and very, very flattered. And I also, the motto, and their motto is something like, take nobody's word for it. And I, in when books, I love to uh, 
take no one's word for it. If somebody says, you know, if you chew something 150 times, you'll extract more nutrition. Like, who says that? That's ridiculous. The stomach will break everything down. You don't need to chew it 100 times. But these things get into our culture. So now more than ever, I feel like take nobody's word for it. It's a very, uh, it's a very important message today, just as it was whenever centuries ago the Royal Society was founded.